many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank? What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. <sighs> I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogert, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth a problem. Come on, Hank. We're both business folk. Surely there's got to be something else you want that won't put me out of business. I already got everything I want. The money looks, eh. but it doesn't help. I'm still here. I'm still me. And only the sweet release of sugar and cold milk can give me the escape that I need. I can give you a punch card. Twelfth one's free. Insult me with another offer like that, and it is you who will be punched! Now maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah... Yeah, that'd be... Pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye, or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead. Either way. Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing. No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You are nothing. No reason we have to get murderous today. Sure there is. It'd be fun. Now. Die quick. I'm hungry. That's a shame. You've come an awful long way just to die on an empty stomach. Now, you just stay here, and you think about your behavior. Me. One day at a time, right? Hey, Baron Ofran. Your descent into rage is inevitable. Delicious and inevitable. Well, I sure as hell hope not. Shit! 
You hush, or I'll break you into cubes and serve you in lemonade. Coming, dear! What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick, like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogurt place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelled blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now, and it is hostile. Like, very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> it felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active vault key somewhere on your space station, where would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Re strong for we are here for the vault key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Better get a cocktail. Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no. I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. Hey, smell like guilt and shame. Can your mommy bring a pack lunch? Resistance is highly frowned upon. Oh, it's frowning! <laughs> We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio. Uh, uh, yeah, he, um, he's. I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal okay, yeah? He's my only family. Oh, man. I looked after him for so long, ever since we were adopted into the same home. 
He's my responsibility, and I love the planet. And now, okay, hey, no time for another Anu panic attack. Just <sighs> breathe a sec. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with a launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is find out if you could land a hit, I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! get into a launch pod without being noticed by asking me to cause one hell of a distraction you may not have noticed with your head buried in your research but we're friends this is what friends do and besides causing a scene that's something at which I excel Fong, thank you yeah don't mention it seriously I have a reputation to uphold You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this from me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this you? Yeah, I won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Bonk. Thanks again. Right. So, I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question, though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. <sighs> Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming. 